Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn about architecture of sensor cloud. So in the previous session, we have already seen what is an overview of sensor cloud. In today's class, we are going to see the architecture of it. Okay. So I have few points uh, over included over here. Okay. This will be used for uh, taking down the notes. Okay. So I will be uh, just giving you an overview of these uh, points one by one. Okay. So let's see right now. See, so the first point is cloud computing service framework delivers the services of shared network through which the users are benefited by the services. Okay. So yesterday we have seen the sensor cloud, right? The sensor data, all the data which is gathered by different types of sensors are stored in the form of cloud, where cloud is nothing but a, some sort of virtual uh, PC or a storage through which the users can access over the internet. Okay, So here also we are speaking about the same thing. It's a uh, service in the form of a uh, framework which develops the services through a shared network. Shared networks means you can consider it as an yeah, internet through which the users gets, uh, gets benefited by all these services, okay? So whenever a user requests the service instances, instances means whenever a particular person want to use this particular cloud as a service, all the instances will be created. Each instances can be considered as a uh, PC operating system or a memory kind of thing. So all the sensor data will be stored in the cloud in the form of a virtual sensors or virtual sensor data. Okay, all these things can be accessed through several instances where instances can be like an PC in the form of a CPU or it can be a memory like a storage or it can be an operating system. It's almost a computer which is holding the sensor data. Okay, so the sensor cloud infrastructure provides service instances, as we have already said, uh, which are nothing but the virtual sensor, which are automatically uh, given service to the end users, okay? Such that all the people who can who want to access the data of these sensors, they can directly access in the form of virtual sensors, which are actually nothing but the instances. As I've already said, like uh, disk storage, CPU, memory, etc. okay? So, Using these instances, all the sensor data can be used by the end users through internet connection and also through web. So the web can be an application interface or a graphical user interface, okay, which we can consider it as an app or a website or somewhat like this through which they can access the virtual sensor data through the instances, okay. Now, the user make the request for the service instances according to their needs, okay, and once the service has been given or a service has been assigned to the sensor cloud, okay, they will be all the uh, cloud will be providing the required information or the required data or the required service to the uh, users, okay, through the cloud computing services integration, okay. Now, in the cloud uh, sensor cloud infrastructure, so first what happens is, the sensors owners, whoever is integrating that particular sensors, physical sensors, what I'm talking about, those sensors owners need to register first, okay? So they need to register the uh, physical sensors so that they can join in that particular uh, cloud sensor cloud infrastructure, okay? So once their sensors get registered, all the data, it is actually free of course. Once the uh, data is registered, okay, all the uh, IT resources like uh, physical sensors, okay, database servers, processors, and several uh, devices are then uh, have will be having an access or uh, they will be prepared to become operational, okay. So they need to have a registration, okay, like as we use some social media accounts, right, same in the same form, we need to take some sort of uh, registrations in order to connect our register our uh, physical sensors to the sensor cloud infrastructure, okay? So, once the registration happens, okay, templates are created and uh, each templates, templates in the sense, the service with respect to the sensors, okay? 
and uh, uh, according to that particular census data service instance also will be created okay which we are considering it as virtual sensors okay so once the templates are created so the virtual sensors are able to share the related as well as uh, the physical uh, sensors information uh, in order to in order to provide quality sensor data so once the physical data sensors uh, physical data is taken from the physical sensors all the data will be okay stored in the cloud in the form of uh, in instances or the virtual sensor data and once the user is uh, uh, gaining access to that particular uh, uh, virtual cloud or the sensor cloud through a particular graphical user interface or a website or a web page okay that data will be provided uninterrupted data will be provided through this particular templates okay which is integrated in the cloud okay so if you see this particular diagram over here so this is an architecture of the sensor cloud let me show you so this is an overview of architecture of the sensor sensor cloud let me zoom it see okay so if you carefully observe there are applications n number of applications applications means okay the users who are accessing the virtual sensor data or the physical sensor data through cloud through a graphical user interface or an app or a website okay so these applications are connected to the end users end users means the users who want to access the sensor data okay and from the end users the request will be sent to this particular sensor cloud infrastructure okay so this infrastructure will be uh, having several instances instances means it can be memory it can be pc with an operating system or it can be a storage device okay where all this uh, sensor data is stored so sensor cloud infrastructure will be having some sort of templates okay sensor management services virtual sensor group okay and several services as well so on the on the overview what we are going to see is a sensor cloud infrastructure will be having a virtual sensor data which is already taken from the physical sensors okay and it is stored in the so so whenever the end users want to access that they need to have a particular uh, create a particular instances through which the sensor data can be fetched according to the requirements okay so these sensor clouds administrations or owners are okay again they will be having an access to this managing sensor cloud infrastructure not only that they can also access this particular other it resources other it re resources means uh, it's like an uh, cpu instances uh, i mean instances in the sense cpu pc uh, memory okay all these are virtual okay by paying some sort of rent we are uh, gaining that particular access okay so this particular sensor cloud infrastructure is connected to a gateway gateway in the sense it can be a router uh, or an uh, ethernet or internet connectivity somewhat like that okay so these gateways are again connected to the physical sensor actual sensors where the owners are registering that okay so these physical sensors are uh, need to be registered how many sensors are there all those sensors need to be registered the all the sensors will be registered by whom the sensors will be registered by the sensor owners who are the sensor owners means okay some uh, some uh, some some people or the engineers who will be using that particular sensors or the uh, companies who are uh, uh, providing those uh, sensors okay so on the whole what we are doing is we are gathering some sort of n number of sensors all these sensors are first registered and through the gateway iot gateway we are providing all those physical sensors data to the sensor cloud infrastructure where sensor cloud infrastructure will be uh, having this particular virtual sensor database which is actually nothing but the physical sensor data 
and all this can be accessed with the help of instances where instances is nothing but it can be in cpu it can be memory or a hard disk it can be uh, it can be a kind of uh, instance okay or a computer through which the end users end users can be uh, requesting those instances according to the usage and all these end users with the help of a website or an app or an application they will try to access that particular sensor data okay this is how the architecture of an sensor cloud will be